Wow, well, <clears throat> this is interesting stuff. Um, yeah, it's very hopeful, I think. Uh, I've been saying this for like a decade that uh, there is the capacity to buy MRI, so you know, um, like the medical MRI that you go in and you lay down in a machine and they scan your brain and they actually show all the structures in your brain. And I've been saying for like a decade, you know, it's about 10 years now, I've been saying, you know, that that's what we need to do. We need to MRI people's brains, you know, these high level criminals, the president and, you know, everybody, everybody that's up there doing all this ridiculously mass murderous crime. We need to MRI their brains and then we need to run their, run the, uh, the structure of their brain through a software program which will interpret their memory to determine what their reality was, what it is uh, that they were basing their decisions on, uh, um, to actually even see what it was that they were seeing when they were making these decisions to mass murder Pakistani people and Afghanistani people and Iraqi people and just all these people that have been mass murdered by this U.S. federal government. And, um... You know, this is the news today. Scientists turn brain's visual memories into a mind-blowing video. Yeah, so MRI justice is here. The, uh, you know, now the, the technology to peer into a person's brain to determine what crimes it is that they're guilty of exists. So, yeah, there is no place left to hide. Now, you know, this doesn't necessarily mean that everything's going to get straightened out, that, you know, all these ridiculous criminals are, are going to, you know, get in order and, you know, stop doing this crime or anything. You know, um, you know if anything, this will be suppressed for a long time. You know, that, uh, like, I've been saying it for a decade, you know, this is what we need to do. We need to write the software, we need to put the MRIs to use to scan these people's brains. You know, and so now somebody has scanned a brain, but it was just out of, you know, um, I don't know, some scientific endeavor. This is on Yahoo News. Um, I guess I'll read some of this. Ever dreamed of recording your dreams and turning them into a video clip? The technology that enables you to do that is near. UC Berkeley scientists figure out a way to turn the way our brains interpret visual stimuli into a video. And the result is amazing. To be able to do this, the researchers use functional magnetic resonance imaging to measure the blood flow through brain's visual cortex. Then different parts of the brains were divided into volumetric pixels or voxels. The term might be familiar to those who remember early 3D games, which were based on voxels instead of polygons, which are more commonly used today. Finally, the scientists built a computational model which describes how visual information is mapped into brain activity. In practice, these subjects viewed some video clips and their brain activity was recorded by a computer program which learned how to associate the visual patterns in the movie with the corresponding brain activity. Then test subjects viewed a second set of clips. The movie reconstruction algorithm was fed 18 million seconds of random YouTube videos which were used to teach the program how to predict the brain activity evoked by film clips. Finally, the program chose 100 clips which were most similar to the movie the subject had seen which were merged to create a reconstruction of the original movie. The result is a video that shows how our brain sees things and at moments it's eerily similar to the original imagery. <clears throat> this is um... Uh, this is what the, the... this is the actual video that they're saying here was made um, uh, presented movie highest posterior movies reconstructed movies
Yeah, I don't know. They uh, what they showed there is that uh, they don't have it down to where uh, it's very accurate. Yeah, they don't have it to where um, you know, they they get a very clear picture of what it is that the person is watching. You know, so if anything, this uh, this article is propaganda against the notion that this could be used to impose justice. But uh, it, I don't know, to me, I understand the reason that they you know, did not a acquire a, uh, I don't know, an exact image as being you know, a, um, you know, it's not, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a limitation of the technology that they used, you know, that they, they did not use um what was a sensitive enough um uh, sensitive enough uh sensory equipment in order to be able to extract uh you know an exact picture you know so what they got was a little bit um a little bit uh you know, a little bit unclear a little bit blurry but um you know it's definitely it's proof of concept you know the the concept is there they obviously don't have the technology down uh, or you know at least these people did not apply the appropriate technology to uh making you know, this uh experiment you know, prove the the notion that um that MRI can you know, pro provide to us insight as to what it is that a person experienced and um, you know this uh, very strictly did uh, dealt with visual cortex probably what will uh, I don't know, lend itself to a criminal justice application would be more so the auditory you know, what it is that people are hearing you know that is going to be um, you know, more important to uh, you know, prosecuting these criminals you know that they they discuss their plans you know, they um, they say you know what it is that they're gonna buy to do what with and you know they issue orders to you know accomplish whatever murder and it's all right there in their brain you know, it's a uh, it, you know they they are storing the uh, the evidence that can be used to prosecute them it, it, it's by default they, they don't even have the capacity to shut it off and if they did then you know they'd be uh, they'd be brain dead idiots and so they'd be incapable so you know who would care you know it'd be great you know why don't you guys go ahead and shut that off 